gangs and criminals do not have nationalities. They have no religion. They have no language. Their language is one. To deal with them firmly, decisively, within the parameters of the law. And that's why we are building a coalition of nations beyond Kenya and the US, many who are making contribution towards the MSS force in Haiti to secure that country and to break the back of the gangs and the criminals that have visited untold suffering in that country. On DRC, the AU, the East African community, and Kenya are seized with that matter. I've just told you that Kenya had a thousand troops in Haiti. We now have another 800, not in Haiti, but in DRC. We now have another 800 troops from SADC. We are going to be having a meeting of the East African community. I did send my minister of, uh, my foreign minister to Kinshasa. They had a conversation. And shortly, we will be looking at how to begin the dialogue process under the Nairobi process. Because we believe there is no military solution to what is going on in DRC. But instead, dialogue should be able to give us the necessary momentum and outcomes that would sell the matters in, in Eastern DRC. So both the AU, the East African community, and Kenya as a country are seized of that matter. We know that the humanitarian crisis in Eastern DRC has displaced close to seven million people. And I want to thank the United States of America for stepping in with humanitarian support for that region because it is a collaboration of different countries in different ways to deal with that situation. The rest of us are committing troops. We are committing uh, our, deploying our infrastructure to facilitate the resolution of the matters in DRC.